Hey guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at Crisis 1 Running in Wine Staging. Alright, so this is installed in uh, Play on Linux, but I'm running the executable for Steam here through Wine Staging, and just to prove that I am, I'm going to go to Start, Run, Wine CFG. Now, normal Wine versions and Play on Linux do not have this option right here, which is Staging. So I'm running the latest Wine Staging from the PPA, which is 1.7.39 with CSMT enabled. Now, this is the first time in my life since uh, Crisis got released that I've been able to get Crisis running in any version of Wine ever. The best I've ever gotten it to run was uh, up towards the section where Prophet talks to you in the plane. So I'm going to go ahead and click play right here. I'm going to run it in windowed mode first. 1600 by 900. This may take a couple of seconds to start up. If it does, I will just skip ahead. Alright, starting up. It takes quite a bit of time at first. Alright, there we go. We already see the EA logo. Now the cool thing about this is that if I go ahead and start clicking spacebar in a moment, I can skip through these scenes without having to go through them. Why is this such a big shocker to me? Previously, if I ever tried to skip any of these scenes, it would immediately crash and it's just basically not playable whatsoever. So yeah, it's a 2007 game, pretty old. I'm going to go ahead and open up the console here and I'm going to show you the frame rates I'm getting. Our display info 1. So the top right you can see here in the main menus I'm getting a thousand frames per second. At first I thought that wasn't right, but when you get into the game it does check for the frame rates correctly. Now I'm just going to go into options here to showcase the not the game settings. I want to check the system settings. So what we have here is that I'm running it at 1600 by 900. Anti-aliasing is off. It's just not worth it to run AA in Wine, any version of Wine that is. Now under advanced, everything is set to high. I can't go any further because I believe very high is either DirectX 10 or 11. I think it's 10, which is why we can't run it here. So everything is set to high, the absolute max that I can set it to. Now, let's see if I can pull my mouse out. Nope, that's good. So I've gone ahead and enabled in YCFG that once an application goes full screen, it, my mouse cannot leave the window. So that will allow me to play the game in a moment. Let's go ahead and jump into single player. I'm going to start on normal, start the game right at the bat. The intro scene does work. I'm going to go ahead and skip this as well by pressing the spacebar. Now one thing I noticed is that when you run Crisis 1 on EXT4, it is supremely faster than NTFS. This on an NTFS partition can take up to 2 to 3 minutes to load on the exact same hard drive. So if you're running EXT4, you're pretty much set for this. This is a lot faster. I would imagine if it was on an SSD, it'd be even faster. Now usually, this would be the part where I'd reach, I'd get up, we'd see profit in the plane, and then the game would just go ahead and crash on me. However, now that I'm using Wine Staging and CSMT Patch, it doesn't seem to do that. In fact, I think I got pretty far last time. I'm going to try and see if I can get that far again. I haven't tried this in full screen yet. We'll see later on in the video if I can jump into full screen mode or at least full screen windowed mode so we can get it up to 920 by 1080p and see what the frame rates are when we do that. Alright, we're about to finish loading here. Give it a couple of seconds. Come on, come on, come on. Alright, we're starting to see the triangles being calculated and the frame rates being calculated on the top right. Now usually if I record an, a wine game using Simple Screen Recorder, we lose a lot of frames and it's generally choppy, but so far it's been okay. The video outcome may be a bit choppy here and there, but without the screen recorder it's pretty much smooth. Alright, we're done loading. Let's go right into the game. August 7th, I'm just going to skip this part, skip this part as well. Just want to get straight into the plane where we can see Prophet talking. See if I can skip that part again. Oh, nope, I skipped that plane part. Oh well, we're jumping right in the sky right now. Audio works, the GUI works. We're looking at over 100 frame rates right now, but when we jump in, I think it's going to go slightly less than 100, but this is impressive compared to before where I couldn't get the game to run at all. Now I can run it, and I can run it at above 100 frames per second. Now I'm not sure if this even compares to what I'd get on Windows, but considering we're running it through a uh, translation layer, this is pretty impressive nonetheless. So I can turn all the way around because it's collecting my mouse in the window. 
We see go down to about 90 frames per second. We are seeing even go up to 200 at moments there. It's pretty darn impressive. It does have pretty big spikes though when it does go down. It goes down very deep but then goes right back up. See it drop at 60 there. All right, let me go ahead and zoom out of here. Remember, this is the high settings that I can set it to while running in Wine. It is DirectX 9 though. There is no DirectX 10 or 11 support in Wine, which is a shame. Just get out of this water right here. Okay, system is out. Let's see if I can kill this turtle. Alright, that was a momentary lag there. Now it's better. Let's see, let me just go ahead and attach silencer, flashlight, tactical, reflex. Can't believe it's actually running and running like this. What's more, this is smooth. I hope the screen recording is capturing this. It does seem to stop every couple of seconds here and there because of the screen recording. Uh, since I don't have my powers yet. Oh, there we go. Now I can run fast. So Prophet's giving me orders. I think most of this video will be in window mode and then just a short section at the end where I run it in full screen if I can at all. Cool, look at that run. Okay, let me just go ahead and put it on defense. I'd rather not die. So what I'm seeing on my next screen next to me, which I can't show you right now. Wait, hold, hold on. I'm just going to stop my character from moving right now and grab my camera. So while I'm running it on the main screen right here, all right, we can see it running in there. On my second screen, I'm monitoring the CPU usage, which is extremely high. And if you can see, only one core ever, one core or one thread ever goes up to 100, which means that one is still not efficient in using my CPU appropriately. Now, if we go to the thermal uh, temperatures of my car, it's going way above the average. Even the highest game in Windows and Ubuntu natively will only ever bring me up to 50 degrees Celsius. This is bringing me up to 64, which is pretty high. All right, so let's get back into it. I'm going to go ahead and run forward here. May lead that sucker. Make sure your silencer is attached. My silencer is attached. Careful, no man. Enemy okay, I see. Oh, seeing a momentary hang. That's definitely doing due to the screen recording at the same time. It doesn't play well with wine, that's for sure. So I just need to move forward a bit. Remember that this, the oh, remember the old adage, can it run Crisis? Well, now apparently uh, Ubuntu can, which is pretty darn neat. So it's definitely struggling right now because of the screen recording at the same time. Let's see if I can... Oh, I died. I went and died. So that is pretty good. We're still seeing pretty good frame rates here, even though I'm moving, meeting, meeting the enemies. But uh, it doesn't seem to be a very good experience when I'm recording at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can jump into full screen mode now. Alright, so I've gone ahead and run the wine window in full screen right now. Now if I go ahead and click run wine CFG, just to confirm it is still using wine staging and it is still wine even though it has its full screen background right here so let's go ahead and see if i can jump into the game and run it at 1920 by 1080p i did set it to 1080p before this before starting this part of the video it was able to jump to that resolution but let's see if it's able to do it cleanly now that i've set the full screen window to the same size now the first startup can always take quite a bit of time all right looks like we've just started up and sweet it is full screen Almost feels like I'm running this natively, even though it's not. Okay, let me just go ahead and skip these intro parts. I want to go ahead and see what the frame rates are when we run it straight at 1080p, everything high. It's a shame we can't run it to very high, but then again, we need Wine to support Direct 3D 10 and 11 first before we can even dream about that. So let me just go ahead and enable uh, the frame rate information. So we're still looking at about a thousand frames per second in the main menu. Now let's see if I can load my game that I saved just now. Alright, sweet. So my Linux save did work. I'm going to go ahead and click load. Let's see how long that takes. Looking to be very fast. Almost a bit too fast. Okay, yeah, that's really, really fast. Oh, but I'm hearing some peculiarities with the sound. Alright, we're jumping in. It is where I left off just now. Pretty sweet. 80 frames per second, 90, 70, I believe it will go below 60 once we get into some serious action. Am I in defense? Yes, I am. Woo! Killed these mofos. 
Okay, uh, what's gonna got right now? Take FY7. Take some ammo. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving forward. So basically this part of the video is just to see how does wine staging perform with the CSMT patch on Ubuntu 15.04. The frame rates are on the top right. Compared to the window mode, we are seeing a difference. It is slightly lower, but that's a good thing. The high resolution should result in lower frames. So it means it's behaving normally, but I'm still seeing above 60 frames per second, which is solid. And you have to remember I'm recording the screen at the same time. Okay, let me just go ahead and run faster. What? Where are you? There you are. Okay, this is a high poly character, so you should see the frames drop quite a bit now that we're behind him. Still at 100. It's pretty good. What happens if I go invisible? Okay, still seeing 80. It does have that occasional stop because of the screen recorder as well. Okay, speak in another language. Okay, let's go run a bit faster. Where is he? Where are they? I really like the storyline in this game. It's a shame we can't run Crisis 3 on uh, Wine. I saw JW93's video of Crisis 2 a while back on Wine, which looks pretty cool. I've never been able to get it running myself yet. Maybe I'll try after this, considering that Wine staging now works with Crisis 1. I'm hearing something, but I don't see it. I did not see it. So we have a lot of foliage on the screen right now, and I've got a flashlight on as well. We are looking at about 50 to 60 frames per second. Still pretty solid. It does seem to have quite a bit of pixelation here due to no anti-aliasing. If, if I put on anti-aliasing, I think the frames will drop quite considerably. Okay, still good. Still good. 40 frames per second there just now. Movie scene. Let's see what happens. We're looking at 40 frames per second. Jumping back up to 80. Jesus. 70. I believe this part is still being rendered in-game. They've just gone ahead and added black bars and control the camera automatically. So he is a high poly model. And with him in the scene, we're looking at 60, even with all the foliage in the area. Pretty good. I'm definitely feeling the uh, screen stops here and there due to the screen recorder. It's a shame I can't record this using some sort of external device so that I never have to affect the frame rate. But it is what it is, so we have to go with this right now. If you notice, the memory says 0 MB. That's not correct, so it is displaying some incorrect information. But I don't have a choice for OSD here. There's no other choice. GLX OSD, Frapix, LibGL FPS, none of them work. Oh, he did, son. He did. We saw it drop down to 50 frames per second just now. Dead. So this is pretty impressive. While it's still showing this, I'm just going to go ahead and open up my camera and see if I can show you the uh, the temperatures and the CPU usage that's happening right now. Let's just show it up. Let's go to the CPU right here. Pretty high CPU usage. But more importantly than that though, my graphics card is heating up pretty badly. 67 degrees Celsius is pretty darn hot. So this scene is at about 50 frames per second and 67 degrees Celsius on my graphics card. Memory is pretty good. I'm only at 3 gigabytes with this open and a whole bunch of other things open at the same time. Alright, so I guess I'm going to call it quits here for this part. I'm just going to go ahead and save. I'll show you that I can save. Alright, let me go here. Save game. Go to the Linux save. I'm going to click save. I am going to overwrite. Game save successfully. I'm going to go back. Back to main menu. Let's see if I can cleanly exit. Before I exit this, I just want to show you the command that I'm running to get this up and running in the first place. First, let me just go ahead and set the window back down to 16.00 by 900. There we go. Click apply. I'm going to exit this. There we go. Give it a couple of seconds to close this up properly. Alright, so you're going to see that I'm running from inside my Play on Linux directory. Now this is installed in Play on Linux, but I'm not using the Wine version supplied with Play on Linux. I'm just using Play on Linux for the purpose of management. If I were to install the game directly in Wine staging, usually I'd have a whole lot of 
uh, things that I can't clean up properly. Now let's see if I can go back to where the first command was run. This right here. Let me just go and drag this out a little bit further. So this highlighted section of code right here is what I'm using to run uh, Steam with Wine Staging. So I'm in the directory where Steam is, the Windows version of Steam. I have to call Wine Staging, then call Steam.exe, and then pass it the argument no dwrite so we get text. So this part is just basically for text. It's not performance, just text. This is what I'm running. And this is what I'm running it with, this part right here. So it's not as easy as good old play on Linux, but it is a lot better than standard wine that comes default in Ubuntu. So basically right now I have three sources of wine on my system. The first being the default uh, wine version, which if I go ahead and type it here, dash version, you're going to see that's 1.6.2, which is the default on Ubuntu right now if you were to install through, the, uh, through apt-get or the Ubuntu software center. But if I check my wine staging version, go ahead and type that right there. So you can see it's 1.7.39. And just now I also had in the staging part, I ticked CSMT. So we had that running throughout. So there are three versions. The default on Ubuntu, wine staging, which I installed through a PPA, and then play on Linux. Now I don't use the default that's provided on Ubuntu ever. I only use play on Linux but now that wine staging is here I am using this so that's pretty much it for this video guys I hope it was enjoyable for you I'm sorry it took so long to uh, end this video hopefully it was informational to you in one way or another and thank you for watching